We will now look at this course structure from the theoretical, practical and usage point of view. In linguistics, the study of discourse refers to how sentences are used in narrative, conversation or any other form of communication. So you have written communication and oral communication and discourse structure is applied in both forms. Discourse comprehension, which is also known as discourse structure, involves building of, of meaning from large extended data or language data, such as novels, news articles, conversation, textbook, and every other material that we use in everyday life. Uh, when we look at the extended segments of language, such as novels, so we look at the novel in terms of the syntactic parameters that have been used, semantics, uh, all the words, vocabulary, the linking markers. So looking at not only the sentences and coming up with the uh, meaning of those sentences, but forming the impression or overall judgment about a given text. Under novel, you have then when you talk about novels and as well as conversation, you can come up with the dialogues. Sometimes the utterances are spoken or short sentences are uh, spoken. Brief utterances are made and how with the help of pragmatic function, factors and semantic factors, one forms overall meaning of the conversation or the dialogue. Now, looking at the structural approach that is followed, we see that the research that is done to look at the structural approach, the aim is to discover the rules which, if followed, result in an acceptable or well-formed text. In approaches which view discourse in terms of communicative behavior, the aim is to discover the social conventions which determine which utterances may occur and what they may be combined with. In other words, the main concern is with the acceptability of discourse. So the acceptability of discourse comes from the social acceptability, the social behavior or communicative behavior in a social setting. And that is why conventions play a very important role in the structural approach of any discourse. We can have the understanding of a sentence in a literal form, but in order to have a proper discourse, the key lies in the understanding of the social conventions, which basically determine that what has been said is an accurate utterance or is an accurate expression in a given text or in a given situation. According to one of the examples, now this approach, which refers to the acceptability of discourse, discourse is acceptable to the extent that it exhibits coherence relationship between its segments. So one of the key factor which contributes to the acceptability of a discourse is to look at the discourse and see the segments do they reflect coherence is there any coherence among all the segments that are presented in a discourse then we have three types of cues which have been proposed by a number of researchers in terms of developing our understanding looking at the theoretical framework or looking at the theoretical guidelines for the usage of any discourse structure that how to use that or un understand or interpret their usage. We have the text content. Now text content has considerable impact on reader's comprehension. Language serves as a set of processing cues or instructions that guide construction of memory for discourse. Now this is the research that has been done by Gunsparsher and Givon and according to them text cue is very important 
in terms of serving as a set of processing cues. Now, these cues indicate which aspect of the text are important to remember. So, by influencing what readers attend to, linguistic cues directly impact the contents of memory. Readers might rely on several types of linguistic cues during processing. Then the other is lexical cues. They have been proposed by the study conducted by Sanders and Nordman. Now, according to them, lexical cues help to establish coherence among discourse elements, connectives such as because, however, not, they actually signal conceptual and logical relations among ideas and arrangements. In addition to that, anaphors, anaphors, also highlight important concepts from previous text that should remain in reader's focus. Then you have the structural cues, which are the features of the organization of information within the discourse that emphasize particular elements related to syntax. Now syntax reveals the subject or object of events or distinguishes presumably familiar concepts from new information. So other organizational features such as titles or topic headings can also enhance readers' understanding of relationship among sentences and concepts according to Bransford and Johnson. Discourse theory proposes that in our daily activities, the way we speak and write is shaped by specific parameters of discourse analysis. Factors influencing the comprehension in discourse context include text content, lexical content, and structure cues.